Go yourself. Seriously, what the fuck? What in the actual seven little F are we going on with here? Why in the hell is Steam not actually going and getting Million Arthur? Apparently the PS4 version has uh, Million Arthur again, according to the wiki, and supposedly the Switch has it, which I doubt because Pikafu says nope. Um, but yeah, if you're wondering what's going on, uh, Million Arthur lost her licensing for a while, which means makes no sense. Um, it was apparently on January 22nd. However, sometime around April, the Steam for, er, the, uh, PS4 version, at least, got relisted. Now, I don't quite understand this, okay? It, I made maybe, I would maybe understand, like, God Eater or Nitro Plus. Those make sense. Million Arthur is a game that has, like, died and will soon be dead twice, because the second game they launched will be ending in September of this year. So, here's what I don't understand. One, why on earth are they even bothering with the licensing issues? They won't need to have the licensing issues if, in fact, the game is dead. That's like saying that, uh, that you need to pay licensing fees for a discontinued game, you know, discontinued game like Chaos Shamperu. That's, that's fucking insane. Most game properties or company properties generally only factor in when they're still around in some capacity. Like, you won't be able to make cop, you know, fan game, legal fan games of like Pokemon or Mario because even though the game, each individual game you base it off of is dead, the entire franchise is still running. You don't really need licensing for a game series that isn't really coming back. The second edition of this game series Million Arthur is flat out not coming back a, a third time. It's actually dying out again in September, according to Gamatsu, I believe. They took my baby! They took my baby! They took my baby! Yeah, they're getting rid of uh, Kyrie Say Million Arthur. According, sorry, it's not Gamatsu, it's Silicon Era that says this. So I don't understand, okay? I understand voiding the rest of the makers, right? But the existence of the Gold Third, which are basically super makers, doesn't really add up. And since both God Eater and Millie are technically not, um, quote unquote, makers, because makers are companies, there is no need to worry about licensing issues with Million Arthur. It's going to die. A slow and miserable death. And yeah, I'm a bit salty. I, I really love Millie on Arthur. And the storyline of my fanfiction, she's one of my daughter who's that, that, and uh, Nitro Plus. As well as God Eater being a daughter-in-law. If you're wondering what that is all about, go check my fanfiction out in the archive of our own link. But yeah, I'm going to be salty and ragey about this forever. But thankfully, PS4 has it again, according to the wiki. And I do have the DLC in my thing, but that's not really an indication because I've had that since the beginning. So, um, with that, ladies and gentlemen, I, with that alone, with the advent of Million Arthur never coming back to Steam, Mega Dimension V2 is now, has been, and always will be superior to the Steam version. Or at least until the Steam version decides to not be stupid and bring back Million. Arthur. So if you enjoyed this inconsequential little idea of rant thing, like the video if you haven't already, subscribe if you're new, click the bell and select all be notified of more of my content, and consider following me on Twitch so I can slowly but finally get my average up to three viewers. Thank you all for watching. I'm one man. I'm ahead on out. <laughs> もっと自信を持つがよい。